Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius, May 20, 2023. Today's Sun Neptune transit helps relax you, as it fills you with faith and patience to let life unfold before you rather than attempt to push it along when it's not ready to move. This comes at a good time on the day before a new moon, when reflection is helpful. It's a time of creative or emotional inspiration or of writing and bringing more imagination to your work or projects. You are more confident and courageous about expressing your imaginative side. This can be a good time for ideas for new methods or approaches to your hobbies, leisure time, and relationships. You might benefit from word of mouth, and you can be especially successful at promotional or marketing work. Thinking in the long term rather than about immediate rewards helps you later today, with Mercury approaching a harmonious aspect with Saturn. Prepare for an absolutely gorgeous day for a meaningful conversation with someone you care for. As the mighty sun sizzles through your solar house of dating and romance, he will shoot a smile over via a sextile to majestic Neptune, who is singing like a mermaid beneath the seas of your solar house. Your mind and communication will be activated, giving you the perfect time to pitch an idea to your one and only about how you can work as a team to build toward one of your greatest aspirations. Instead, this may be a glorious moment to meet someone via online dating or an app or instead have a heart-to-heart -heart with a friend. Speak up about your dreams. As a hard worker, you have plenty of passions and talents that you may want to pursue in your work life. Now is the time to let others know where you stand and what you want to do when the sun in Taurus sextiles Neptune in Pisces. It might be kind of weird to be so vulnerable about your ideas, but it could pay off. If you are open about what you want to pursue or create, you might be surprised by the support you will receive in conversation. The closer that Mars gets to his return to your financial sector over the weekend the less time that Pluto has on his own in your income sector. This is something that will see them clash over the weekend, but as the planets of war and revolution and as income and money matters fight for your attention this will energize both sides of the financial fence. Until then, all the focus is on the income side of the financial fence. You're going to have plenty of energy tonight, and it's apt to bring you a lot of pleasure. It's a good night for doing something physical or sensual. This could be dancing or cooking a wonderful meal at home. Take it for what it is worth remember that the sensual is a world unto itself and doesn't necessarily need to have romantic connotations. Use this energy to show your love directly and simply to those you care for. Give and receive physical contact in a healthy, simple way. For you this day can call the quality of your relationships into question in a big way. Yours is a generous nature, and while this is an admirable quality, it can also be harmful if taken to excess. Don't let yourself be taken advantage of by believing everything you hear. If someone is causing you to wonder, check things out for yourself. Trust your instincts, as this can often be a greater indicator than your ears and eyes. Even if ahead of the moon's return to your work sector tomorrow and the sun's return a day later the professional gods weren't calling for a wait-and-see approach, the overwhelming focus on the playful creative and adventurous side of life's fence is something that everything the working week would struggle to compete with. Halfway between Jupiter's return to a playful and creative part of your chart two days ago and the sun's departure in two days, the moon is not only here but is building towards a pivotal new moon. Just having the moon in your romantic sector during the sun's final and Jupiter's early days is an advantage, but building towards a new moon these romantically charged lunar vibes have a lot more potency. In the early days of your luckiest year for love in over a decade and the solar spotlight still shining on matters of the heart and all things romantic, this is a powerful time for new beginnings. Our Eyes in the Sky When the moon passes through the sign of Taurus, our focus shifts primarily towards our family and loved ones. During this time, we may find ourselves feeling a sense of possessiveness towards those closest to us. Our attention is drawn to matters within the home, capturing our interest and making us yearn for peaceful and cozy moments with our favorite people. 
It's natural to feel inclined towards a touch of opulence and indulgence, as there is nothing wrong with embracing a little decadence now and then. So go ahead and treat yourself. However, it is important to be cautious and guard against the perils of extravagance and overindulgence. Your current fantasies may be overly optimistic and unlikely to be fulfilled. Try to avoid unnecessary dissatisfaction with your current circumstances and instead be realistic, focusing on practical feelings and yearnings that truly bring you happiness. On the financial front, things are looking positive. Your transactions are flowing smoothly, and the usual struggles and competitiveness become less relevant. Take advantage of this tranquil phase to explore new investment opportunities. It's a time to make the effort and seek out fresh ideas, rather than being content with your current achievements. Remember, resting on your laurels might lead to regrets down the line. Physically, you feel fit and healthy, but your primary concern lies with the well-being of others. However, it's essential not to neglect your own health in the process. Take the time to address any deep-rooted problems that you typically ignore. Engaging in conversations with trusted confidants can assist you in overcoming any detrimental habits, but if needed, don't hesitate to seek professional help. With Jupiter no longer in your income sector and the moon, which wrapped up loose ends and departed two days ago, a sense of stability has settled in. This shift has allowed you to unpack a wealth of information. The planets remaining in your income sector indicate that they are here to stay, bringing forth untapped potential for income that Mars will soon be able to harness upon entering your work sector tomorrow. It's important to recognize that you might be channeling your anger towards those closest to you, but this behavior will eventually have a negative impact on yourself. Instead of blaming others for your mood swings and causing unnecessary conflicts in your relationships, strive to improve your attitude. Set aside some quiet time to reflect on your emotions and restore your emotional well-being. Exercise caution when dealing with finances. Making hasty investments at this moment could lead to negative or even catastrophic consequences. It's highly likely that you may make the wrong choices. If you've been planning a significant purchase for a while, it would be wise to wait a little longer, as unforeseen events may disrupt your plans in the near future. Take a moment to pause and reconsider your actions. Additionally, it's crucial to take care of your physical well-being. Slow down and be gentle with your body. Prioritize rest and relaxation to replenish your energy. Adopting a healthier attitude becomes even more important during stressful times. Evaluate whether expending your energy reserves is truly worthwhile and know when it's best to conserve your energy. Remember. Embracing stability, improving your attitude, and making wise choices in both relationships and finances will contribute to your overall well-being during this period.